Steve was released into Smash in October 13th of 2020, and his art style is very interesting. My name is Krifser, and in this video I look at Steve's art style and its implementation into Smash. Is it controversial to say that Minecraft isn't visually impressive? Don't get me wrong, the art style fits the type of game it's in, and a lot of the decisions made, small textures, limited animation rigging, minimal polygons, do a good job of keeping the resources demanded by the game under control. Ultimately, I'd have to say these visuals are iconic because the game is iconic, not the other way around. Before Minecraft became the juggernaut it became, I heard the game described as ugly more than once, and I think that's underselling the art direction a bit because in some instances, the game can look pretty good. In others, I can see where this opinion would come from. Animation is as bare bones as it can possibly get, and outside of the novelty of mixing some 2D sprite work with 3D models, there's not much graphically that hasn't been around since the 80s. And how could there be with such a limited resolution for the artists to work with? This is obviously subjective, but in a world with so many impressive visuals, there's not much to latch onto here. Do these tools stand out to you? Well, of course they do, they're from the best selling video game of all time. Would you give them a second glance if you'd never heard of Minecraft? I'm not so sure. Audio wise, it's a different story. Minecraft is generally fantastic sound design, with everything from closing a door, to placing blocks to eating roast chicken, having distinctive yet unobtrusive sound effects that occupy pleasant frequencies, and this game also pushes different variants farther than some other games. A good call considering that the player will often be triggering the same sound cue many times in a row. There are what I'd consider to be a few missteps in there though. The anvil in particular has always struck me as just too harsh and loudly mixed compared to other items. While this and a few others are more outliers, the implementation of the sound effects does unfortunately have some persistent issues. One of these is the way the game handles proximity, with sound sources cutting in and out fairly abruptly. <laughs> This may well be an optimization technique, but in any case, it's clearly not ideal. These are sticking points, but the vast majority of the game's core sound design is still very solid, which, I con which I'd consider to be more important overall. The visual and audio aesthetic of the Source game was translated so directly into Smash that technical considerations aside, a lot of the same comments can be applied here, although I'd actually give the Smash team additional praise for this decision. Generally, characters are rendered in a way which tries to blend them all together seamlessly into the same world, but they boldly didn't do that here. The character feels very distinct in a matter that I do think pays off. This wasn't trivial. As a counterexample, take PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, a platform fighter that made little attempt to blend the different franchises' aesthetics together and, at least in my opinion, looks quite disjointed and ugly as a result, whereas the fine line walked with Steve makes him feel straight out of his home series without harshly clashing with the Smash environment. With that being said though, I do think there would have been room to expand here, particularly in his animations. I can forgive the team for not implementing standard animation styles for a lot of his moves such as rolls, text, and tumbling, as this matches the simple keyframing and limited joints of the Source game's models, however, it has the consequence of ma making many of the characters different states very difficult to distinguish between at a glance, a big issue for a fast paced game like Smash. This is admittedly more of a design consideration, but adding in some additional items would have fixed both this problem and given Steve some major style points. For example, his tumble animation can maybe utilize weakness particle effects, his text and water bucket, his normal rolls ender pearls, things along these lines. 
Now, some of Steve's animations already delve into this approach and are incredibly effective in my opinion, but in other areas they're at best functional. I think a Steve's animation style as a whole is very unique and its implementation into Smash has done pretty well, but there are still some things that are need improving like I said. Um, my name is Kripster, and this is and this was Minecraft style and its implementation to Smash. Goodbye.